Hey Chris, do you remember the good old days of going to the store and picking out your plastic vinyl Halloween costume in a box? Oh yeah. <laughs> what were you? Uh, I think I was either E.T., He-Man, Scooby-Doo. You were Scooby-Doo? Probably Scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> Scrappy-Doo. I don't really think I did anything scary at that time with the little old uh, plastic suits. Yeah. For me, I think it was a teddy bear costume and it was only one time. My mom made most of my costumes, but I think when I was really little. And I don't have the mask, but I still have the, the plastic teddy bear. That's cool. Yeah. But I would be into the monsters now. Why are monsters cool? They got blood running down their face and everything. That's right. Creepy, crawly faces that make you jump out of your skin are still in style. In addition to my Halloween museum, we wanted to have a fun photo op that went with it. And so we kept wrapping our brains around what to do. And then I was thinking, yes, an old vintage costume box would be so much fun and people could take their picture with it. Thing is, is we didn't know if we should do just an empty box or if we should do a box that has the mask and then you look out the little eye holes. But we didn't feel like it was enough space like you didn't yeah. get enough like you could only peek your head in just a little bit so we said let's just go with the open box i had been following a guy on instagram called Backface, and he's actually redone all of the costume boxes from ben cooper so we were trying to decide which one to do but we had to keep in mind where the opening was so most of the boxes actually have like a middle to low opening for them so we needed one that was wide so there were a couple options that we could choose from we ultimately went with classic monsters because who doesn't love a classic monster plus it had lots of colors and it had all the faces of all the classic monsters so the one that we chose is like this is perfect it's just so cool do you guys love it so we asked backface to create a file for us then we had a large graphic printed because people would be entering from the side and we let the top open for extra light we only needed the two sides printed so the idea that we had was to create a box that looked like it had been pulled out a little bit to give extra room for the people that would be posing inside so for the construction of this we just used our typical studio flat framing with the quarter inch plywood and we only had to make four different separate flats one for the back two little short ones connected together to give that box opening look and then the face with the center cut out the fun thing about painting this was i actually took a piece of cardboard in to home depot and they matched the cardboard because i was like yeah from one of the boxes so that was really fun so <laughs> that brown that you see is the cardboard color from one of the boxes once everything was all primed and painted uh, gina and i went through and installed all the graphics, making sure it didn't have air bubbles and stuff. That's always a fun, exciting adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny though, is the two of us we were in such a hurry, we actually cut out the entire white center because when they printed out the graphic, it was all solid white. When we stood back, we said, this looks a little bit different. And then when we looked back at the picture, we noticed that there's actually a white, a border. white border around the thing. So Christopher, bless his heart, he went back in <laughs> and that was challenging. It would have been so much easier to just cut it and leave it and then jigsaw it out because that's what you did, right? Yeah, I just added a new sheet of plywood to the back and then cut out with a jigsaw, give you know, with an extra couple inches. And then we just painted the, the wood white. But it made a huge difference. Yeah. And as you can see there, you guys can see the difference. So it makes it pop a lot more. Another element that we were tossing back and forth is whether or not we should add a plastic like cellophane or a wrapping to make it look authentic. And we decided against it because we were afraid of like glare from flashes and cameras and, you know, the lighting. And I love it so much. I just love the classic characters. I love the nostalgic of it. And now that we have it back in our possession, I'm actually thinking of turning it into a shelf. So how cool would it be to put all my monster collectibles behind that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Are you ready, Chris? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe you guys will go make yourself a costume box. It makes a great photo op, that's for sure. Did you guys have an original Ben Cooper costume for Halloween? Let us know in the comments below. 